All right, this is a tutorial for the Greg Tech Anvil. Now, there are many different flavors of Anvil. All of them have durability. You can tell the durability by the D colon and number there. So you have a stone anvil that will work for one hit. You have the black granite and red granite anvils that will last for 10. You then have lead, which is 80. Bronze, which is 100. And they go up from there all the way to adamantium, which is way too many numbers for me to read. Um, they have different recipes depending on where you smack them. So if you're wanting to put two ingots together, you can either split them in your hand, put one on either side, and then... You know, I probably should have the hammer here. Um, smack it on the top. And that'll put them together into a double ingot. Now you can do that again with another ingot. And that'll make you a triple ingot. And so on and so forth. And then if you need to, you can always pull them back off. Now you can also put them together in the two or up to an entire stack if you want to. And then anywhere here on the front, just right click and it'll divide that stack in half. So then you'll have whatever uh, is equal on either side and then you'll get the extra one back in your inventory. Now if you have... A plate and you need to make foil you will put that over here on the small side and that will make foil now if we go to any eye by the way for the anvil and a lot of the uh, machines and I don't really think you'd call an anvil a machine but uh, a lot of the blocks that have the little NEI tag there, your game will probably lag just a little bit, uh, depending on your RAM and your CPU. Because to save on load time, Greg does not load all of these recipes until they are needed. Um, so when you hit that tag, it's got to load all those recipes in. Um, and as you've seen from me hitting it, you hit the little NEI thing and it gives you all the NEI recipes for um, that block. So this is your NEI tab. Everything down here you don't really need to worry about because there is no power for the anvil. Uh, what you need is just what's here. This is where you put it and what you get back from it. And from anything that gives out scrap, it's usually a 90% return. Which means every one of these nine will have a 90% chance of returning. So sometimes you will end up with uh, all nine. Sometimes you'll end up with six or five. Um, so it's a 90% chance for each one that is the, each one of those scrap. So this will tell you, like, this is the double ingot that I just made. If you put that back on, you can then turn it into a plate that will then give you the 90% at chance. 90% chance at nine scrap. You can also put plates together the same way to make double plates. Uh, triple plates, quadruple plates, so on and so forth. Um, then you have the, we can actually do this easier by looking up the use for it. You'll see it says 
anvil bending small and that is two foil with a chance at 90 percent for four scrap when we did this in the video i got six back so i either got three and three or four and two um not quite 90 percent overall but it's still nicer than losing it. All right. And then if you put it just on top. Like that. And you hit a plate that is on top on the top. You will then get an item casing. Very terrible thing to do. You can pour them in molds and not lose anything. Here, um, I lost two of my lead nuggets, basically, by doing it that way. So, try not to do that. Preferably pour them. Uh, you also have the big side, which is used for making uh, curved plates. So if I grab another one of these, I put it on this side, and I hit it either here on the front or on this side, I will get a curved plate. And then I can put that, I do believe, back on the top and turn it back into a plate if I did that accidentally. Um, same thing for the small, you can hit right here on the front or on the side to get the foil. Um, you can also do rods into, uh, springs. Probably should look for, that's putting them together. Let's see, copper will work. There we go. So a long copper rod will give us a copper spring. And I do believe it is a small regular copper rod. There we go. That will give us a copper ring on the small side. So Always look at that, what's in parentheses there, and that'll tell you where to hit it. So this is your early game manipulation of materials if they need to be bent or curved. This is what you want to do. Eventually you'll have machines where you can do it. Also, um, like I said with the item casings, you know, make sure you look at the uh, scrap you're getting out of it. You're probably always going to be better to pour your materials uh, into molds than you will to hammer them out if possible. Um, there is a ring mold as well if you don't want to uh, hammer them. You can actually pour them if you look at the... Uh, mold here it's the exact center of that mold with the edges left in so it's just a circle in the center with one poking out and that's a ring mold so if y'all have any questions let me know that is your tutorial for the anvil and i will catch you guys later